today we are going to learn about changing dimensions of rectangular prisms. So let's first look at the overview. It says that if we multiply one dimension by a scale factor, the volume will also be changed by the same scale factor. The surface area will also change, but not by the same scale factor. So let's look at some examples. This first example says that if the width of this rectangular prism is tripled, complete the information about the new box. So first, we need to find the volume of this rectangular prism. So remember that the volume formula is length times width times height. So we're going to substitute in for our variables. So we have the length of 9, a width of 4, and a height of 5 inches. So when I substitute in my length, width, and the height, I get volume equals 9 times 4 times 5, and that is equal to 180 inches cubed. So that is our volume for this first box. Now for our new box, it says that the width is tripled. That means if our width of the original rectangular prism is 4 inches, if we were to triple it, that means times 3, our new width will be 12 inches. So to find the volume, we would use the same formula, length times width times height, and I would substitute in 9 times 12 times 5, and I get the volume of 540 inches cubed. Remember in our overview slide, we said that if we multiply one dimension by a scale factor, then the volume will also be changed by the same scale factor. So in this example, our scale factor was 3 because the width is being tripled. That means the volume from the old box to the new box needs to be tripled. So we didn't have to use the volume formula to find the volume of the new box. All we needed to do was take the volume of our old box, so 180 inches cubed, and then triple it, and that will be equal to the volume of our new box. So let's make sure. If we take 180 and multiply it by 3, we get 540 inches cubed. So we just verified that the statement in our overview was true. Now let's move on to our next example. So this next example is multiple choice, and it says that the dimensions of box X are 4 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and 7 centimeters, and the dimensions of box Y are 4 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and 14 centimeters. To answer this question, we need to look at the information given to us closely. So one of the dimensions of box X is 7 centimeters, and one of the dimensions for box Y is 14 centimeters. So notice the difference between box X and box Y is that one of the dimensions have been doubled. So knowing that information, which statement is true about box Y compared to box X, A, B, C, or D? So pause the video now and try to answer this question on your own. When you're ready, hit play. And the correct answer is D. The volume is double and the surface area increases, but is not doubled. This next example is also multiple choice, and it's asking us to find which prisms have the same volume that is exactly triple the original prism. So we need to look for a prism that has one of the dimensions, only one, that's tripled compared to the original prism. So the original prism has a length of 4 feet, a width of 1 feet, and a height of 2 feet. So which of these prisms, and there might be more than one right answer, has a volume that is exactly triple the original prism? So pause the video now and try this on your own. When you are ready, hit play. How did you do? So the reason why the first rectangular prism is not the right answer is because all three dimensions, the length, width, and the height has been tripled. So that's why this first one is not the right answer. 
The second one is also not the right answer because the height hasn't been tripled. It's only been increased by three feet, not tripled. So that's why the second one is not the right answer either. So hopefully you guys are getting the hang of this because we are moving on to our next example. This next example is asking us to find the volume of rectangular prism B. And the information given to us is that the rectangular prism A has a volume of 432 cubic units. And notice that the difference between rectangular prism A and rectangular prism B is that the height has been multiplied by 5. Since the height of rectangular prism B is 5 times greater than the height of rectangular prism A, that means the volume of rectangular prism B will be 5 times greater than the volume of rectangular prism A. So I want you to quickly find the volume of rectangular prism B. So pause the video now and when you're ready, hit play. And the volume of rectangular prism B came out to be 2,160 cubic units. So let's move on to our next example. Our next example is a multi-select, so that means there will be more than one right answer. And it's asking us to find prisms that have a volume that is exactly 10 times the original prism. So the original prism has a length of 3 centimeters, a width of 5 centimeters, and a height of 4 centimeters. So which of these prisms has a volume that is exactly 10 times the original prism? So pause the video now and try this one on your own. When you're ready, hit play. And the correct answers were prism A and prism D. So let's move on to our next example. We're almost done, so hang in there. The second to last example says that the volume of box A is 24 cubic units and the height of box A is 6 units. And the volume of box B is 72 cubic units and the length and the width are the same as box A. So we need to complete the missing dimensions. So pretty much we're trying to find the height of this box B. So notice that the volume of box A is 24 cubic units and the volume of box B is 72 cubic units. That means the volume between box A and box B has been tripled. So if the volume is tripled and the height of box A is 6 units, what would be the height of box B? So pause the video now and try this one on your own again. And when you're ready, hit play. How'd you do? Since the volume of box A and box B has been tripled, that means the height of box B will also be triple the height of box A. Now our last example says that the volume of box A is 12 centimeters cubed and the volume of box B is 60 centimeters cubed. Two of the dimensions are the same as box A, only one is different. What could be the dimensions of box B show two different possibilities. So pause the video now and try this one on your own and when you're ready, hit play. How did you do? So your answers might be different than mine, but as long as one of the dimensions, either the length, width, and the height, is five times greater than the length, width, and height of box A, you did this problem correctly. So congratulations on making it to the end of the notes. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher for help. If you do not have any questions, you can move on to the next activity.